on so I thought that I'd do a really quick cage tour of Remy's new cage for you so he has been in here since last night meaning that it is a little bit messy because he does tend to drag his bedding and food everywhere but a lot of it is his old bedding as well which means it does look a little bit messier than what it would normally look but I thought that I'd just do a quick cage tour for you so he's currently living in a one level iMac fantasy but he is hoping to get another extension level maybe this month or next month depending on what my money is like by the time I finished buying everything I need so yeah let's go ahead and get straight into the cage tour okay so on the bottom of the cage the first thing you can see is this ladder so that ladder goes straight up to the top level meaning that he doesn't have to have tubes or anything and this is a lot easier for him to get up as well and it's also a lot easier for me because it means that he won't have tubes and they won't get smelly and stuff and then we have a wooden branch perch just here and then we have another one on that side there and then going around his cage we have some rope so it goes from this corner to the back back round to the front and then over there to the side and then we have a fiddlesticks bridge a little wooden log in the back over there which is actually where Remy is hiding we have a savic wheel just over there and then on the back of his cage I'm not really sure if you guys can see but we have a carrot Nora, a natural Nora, and then another carrot Nora over there. And then in the back corner we just have a flying saucer wheel. And hanging up over there we have his fruit garland. And then on the outside of the cage, just over here, we have his water bottle. So on the top level, the first thing we have is his massive bed. So the iMac has a built-in bed, hence why all his bedding is in this side of his cage. Because it has a little lip there. And then when you put the lid back on it has like a built in bed within the lid. He has a little orange and green tube and as you can see that's where the ladder ends up. We have another log tunnel, his food bowl which is actually covering the hole for the tubes. I'm hoping to get a rotter stack tube block up and put it there though because the rotter stack tube blockers fit perfectly in those holes. And then last of all we just have a little sand bath. So I know someone did comment saying that mice can't have sand baths but it all depends on how the mice uses them and I've actually googled it and asked a couple of people and Remy doesn't roll around in his, he only uses it for a potty meaning that he can have it but we are going to try and get him something a little bit different so I'm currently looking at critter litter because of I think that would work really well for him so he also has bedding on the top level as well and usually I wouldn't put bedding on the top level of an iMac but because of he is a mouse and he wheeze absolutely everywhere I thought that it would probably be a lot easier for me to put bedding in so it means it is easier for me to clean. So that is just Remy's cage tour. So here is just a quick overview of what Remy's cage looks like when it's all put together. So this I haven't actually tied in a knot because I basically pulled it around the bar and then pulled it back through under itself and there is no way that Remy's weight is ever going to pull that off and it's pretty tightly secured in there. So it was just easier than tying knots and things in it because then I would never be able to undo them because I do really weird knots. So yeah, anyways, thank you so much for watching guys and as always if you have any questions please feel free to comment and I'll try to answer them for you. And also thank you so much for the support and yeah, please don't forget to comment, rate and subscribe. Bye!